What is up, my individuals? <laughs> Dre Jackson here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. All right, so today I have four unique ways for you to style your undercut. Today I am going to be your hair model. <laughs> oh, that was your hair model. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking you guys through four different hairstyles and how to achieve them. Just so you guys know, the dimensions of my hair, the front top is around six inches. It gets a little shorter towards the back, um, around four inches. The sides, um, I usually get done from a uh, skin taper to a two. However, um, that was almost about a week ago, so it's grown out just a little bit since then. And uh, yeah, I get that done all the way from the uh, sides and the back. Yep. <laughs> now, if your hair is like mine and it is a little bit longer, it gets harder to style. It gets harder to add volume. However, your boy is gonna pull through today and he's gonna help you guys achieve dopeness. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. All right, so for the first hairstyle, we have an off-centered part. Now, this is a pretty cool look that I think is great for those nice dressed up occasions. It's got that nice classy vibe, and in my opinion, it's just a great alternative to the regular slicked back undercut, um, like I'm actually rocking here. <laughs> so first up, right here, we are going to apply our Shavu pre-styler, then comb it forward and apply a bit more to really get it in there. After we saturate it evenly, it's time to blow dry. The blow drying process is super easy on this one, nothing special special besides blow drying it straight back and if you want to speed up the blow drying process you can actually blow dry it forward as well to really get in there but only for a few seconds though you don't want to change the direction of your hair so if you blow dry it for a few seconds forward be sure to go straight back to blow drying it backwards again just to ensure that your hair knows that it needs to be going straight back and once your hair is dry I encourage you to change your blow dryer to the cool setting and do one last run through. This will actually create a freeze effect by locking your hair into place and it will help close up those hair follicles that the heat opened up. Now it's time to implement your favorite hair styling product. Right here we got only the best, Ocean Clay by Shavu. And yes, we did sell out of Ocean Clay during the holidays. It was absolutely crazy. So many of you bought Ocean Clay. Um, it's just crazy how the word is getting out there on how great this product is. And honestly, I couldn't be any more proud. We will be back in stock very, very soon though. So be sure to stay updated with us on Instagram at Shavu or Shavu.com. I'll be sure to put those links down in the description below for you guys. Anyways, back to the video. Make sure to saturate that product evenly in your hair. Um, and then feel free to grab a comb, wide tooth preferably. And with that said, use it to create an off-centered part. Also, if you want to go for something a little bit more rugged and less formal, you can definitely take the larger side of the part and drag it down. This will create a more messy look for those of you who like that style. And that completes look one and two. And by the way, before I continue this video, I do have a huge discount for all of you guys. For anybody that wants 10% off of the Activating Oil Cleanser by Shavu, plus free US shipping, be sure to use the promo code 2019 at Shavu.com upon checkout. For those of you that don't know, the Activating Oil Cleanser is basically a healthy shampoo for your hair. Because as most of us know, most shampoos are very, very damaging to your hair. They strip out all of your natural oils. That's why we have to use conditioner to replace those oils and re-nourish our hair back up again. But with the activating oil cleanser, it's great because it washes your hair clean without all the damaging side effects that most shampoos cause. It takes away and eliminates only excess dirt and excess oils, leaving those natural oils intact at all times. And you guys can read the testimonials. It, this stuff is crazy. I've been using it for a few years now, you guys, and honestly, my hair has never been the same. It's never been as healthy and as silky smooth as it is now. Now for our next hairstyle, um, we're gonna be calling this the dirty cut. That's what I'm calling it, because I just that's just what I came up with right now. Basically, for this style, I wanted to go for something that was kind of beachy and wavy and a little messed up, a little dirtied up, I guess you would say. Kind of like that second day look, that second day hairstyle that still looks really dope. Again, be sure to comb your hair back, apply your pre-styler, then comb it forward and apply a little more, and then saturate it evenly using the comb. Next, to add in some wave, as you can see here, I took sections of my hair 
twisted and blow dried. This is a very simple way for you straight hair dudes like me who want to add some life to your hair and create more wave. However, the only way to really keep these waves locked in is if you are using your blow dryer on the high heat setting. Usually I tell you guys to go for the medium temperature setting, but for this I would definitely go high heat. Also, scrunching up your hair while blow drying it will create that dirty, messy, wavy vibe that we are going for as well. However, while you're doing all that, still keep the blow dryer out in front of you to ensure that you are always blow drying your hair back. Because at the end of the day, even though this is a messy look, we still want the direction of our hair to be going backwards and off of our face as the end result. Now go ahead, add in some product, specifically a clay. Anything else like a pomade probably won't give you the same look to be honest. Saturate it in your hair and finger comb it back while creating your final look. And that's it, that is our final result of our third look today. And now for the final undercut hairstyle, we will be going for a side swept quiff hybrid, which means we need to achieve some slight volume and some crazy texture. And at this point, like I said, my hair is getting longer. It's around six inches. And once it hits around, you know, the six inch mark, it starts getting very heavy. And that's what happens with heavy long hair. It can't hold itself up like it used to when it was nice and short and very light. However, your boy's coming through, like I mentioned, we are still definitely going to get some volume out of it for sure. Cause that's, it's just what I do, you know? It's just, this is my thing. And you know, for those of you with like five inch hair or anything below that, then you shouldn't really have to worry about anything. You know, you shouldn't have to worry about not getting volume or anything like that because at that point, it's, it's pretty easy to maintain volume when your hair is shorter. So again, of course, before blow drying, use your pre-styler, get it saturated in your hair, and then blow dry your hair to one side. For me, I like to go left. And uh, for the extra volume, don't forget to blow dry your hair straight up and in the opposite direction at times. This will definitely create some nice lift. And if you want to add in some hairspray, this is totally cool. I like to pop the front of my hair up and then hairspray it into place. And that's it, pretty simple, yet a very, very dope look. Now, I hope you guys dug today's hairstyles. If you did, please give this video a nice big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which hairstyle you liked best or you can let me know in the, the poll above. I would absolutely love to get your guys' input. All right, so now it is time for the individual's inner circle shout outs. So right here we have three individuals. We have Aditya. Next up we have Keshan or Kishan. And last up we have Yasin or Yasin or Yasin or Yasin or Yasin. <laughs> My apologies, guys, if I mispronounce these names. I'm not too good at these, you know, non US names. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate your guys' love. Thank you so much for all the support that you show me every single day. Now, before I head out, I do want to discuss today's motivational message of the day. And uh, this is something that I actually talked about on my Instagram about a month ago. So right here we have five components to life that will bring you joy and make you successful. Because like I've mentioned in the past and previous videos, happiness comes from happenings, meaning the things that are going on around you, but joy comes from within. And true success is reaching your potential without compromising your values and who you are and who you were called to be. So the first of five is number one, faith. Now, first and foremost, living your life for God and putting Him first above all things. That is mandatory, that is first priority, and that is the most important thing that I'm going to be talking about today. Number two is family. Now, if putting God first is most important in your life, then your spouse should be second most important. After that, honor your parents, support your siblings, and always be there for your friends who are like family. Number three, passion or in other words, your job. You must find something that you love to do every single day and make it your life's work. Because if you enjoy what you do, then it won't even feel like work. It'll just be your passion. It'll just be something that you do each day that you love. Number four, 
health. Make being strong and healthy a priority in your life. Bad eating, lack of exercise, high stress, uh, bad sleeping habits, this is actually the four things and biggest causes of poor health. And number five, community. Don't ever ignore the importance of community. God made us to rely on each other and to come together as a community. So don't turn your back on your neighbor. Make sacrifices for them. Help them. Encourage them. You'll never be the best version of yourself if you are not committed to helping your community. By the way, we do have an online Facebook community for our individuals. So for any of you that want to be a part of something, want to be a part of a community where you know all we do is help each other and, and support each other and encourage each other to uh, grow and to be the best versions of ourselves. If you want to be a part of that, I'll be sure to link that down in the description below for you guys. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you dug it, please give it a nice big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new. Be sure to hit that notifications button to be informed when I drop some new content. And I will see you guys very soon. My name is Dre Drexler, Shaka.